When mapping textures to round walls, sometimes, depending on the radius, the texture does not map ideally to the wall. In this video tech tip, we'll show you how to get your desired mapping every time on any round wall. Take a look at the texture on these two walls. The majority of the wall seems to have mapped OK, but towards the end and the middle, you can see that the texture is stretched on both the left and right sides. Even with the Attributes Mapping tool, the texture doesn't map quite right. To get the correct texture mapping on all portions of the wall, the parts must be mapped separately. So, instead of all the parts of the wall using the same map type as overall, each part should be mapped separately. To do this, I'm going to change the top and bottom parts to use planar mapping while the left and right sides will use a cylinder map type. Once the parts are mapped separately, you can see the difference. Additionally, you have more freedom when using the attributes mapping tool to set the texture to your liking, as none of the other parts are affected. This concludes today's video tech tip. Thank you and have a great day.